versatility in my profile. What if out of our whole lives as we live, what if our reflections were really watching us? It is who we are, but what if what we see beyond ourselves is what can and is only seen as its designated design and divine time as it relates to place and order, but for us as people? What if it was just a reflection? Here is a message to the adventurers. Your journey is a joke, but you get it. Just a message to the people who, no matter what you say, don't believe you and more don't take the time to search for truth and prefer to refer to your reality as just a dream. You will be remembered. Born in Chicago, Illinois in 1987, where I would be raised until three years old with my mother, Deborah Johnson, and father, Dino Clark. And then, however, soon after, in 1990, would be transported to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Along with most of my other siblings at the time, here I would grow up in the foster care system. It was tough having to try to live inside a different family. However, I accepted the challenge at an early age and would become undoubtedly well-known as a smart, bright, and outspoken, loud but shy, funny yet realistic guy. Oh, this outfit is so cool. Everyone has a chance to become sister. Everyone has a choice to become a hero. By the time I was 14, I had already been through 24 foster homes and had already mentally suffered enough to give up hope. Probably just the um, black man in the movies. I'm finding peace, love, and happiness for myself. Bro, oh, probably just a black man in the movie. What? Black man in the movie? Come here. Having been adopted into a family that supported me enough until I would eventually grow older and then out of the system out of the understanding that others had had for me and in, into my own thoughts, fortunes, and future. It was a good thing for me because it gave me a network, a group of people that knew me the closest, which made getting to know people post-adoption and foster care a little easier on me, truthfully. I think this is somebody from the 1980s, Robert. Where's the black man in the movie? I've never heard of it, though. Because I think it has something to do with this black man, though. Yeah, so we need to, like, do something. Like... Go to there, to there, to there, to there. So you see to put us in four ways to how the fat, how the slow as you go, the fast as you go. Having built strong relationships with these same people and then some over time, I became well known by both foster family and close community associates and friends as Keys, K E I Z. Well, I think you want to take the compass out. Hmm? I oftentimes think about how people that are immediately close to me and the community that I've been brought to support me in a way that makes me feel like home. I mean, it does truly make me feel special. Because in hindsight, if the story were told from the making of a different decision, then the possibilities of representing the same city in which I speak of nowadays would by nature come second to the factuality of me representing my actual birth state and city of Chicago, Illinois. I believe that I would eventually share the love and a bond between the two cities and environment, if not artistically, than it being a natural given the fact that I can be highly sociable in Chicago which isn't too far away from Milwaukee. Are you afraid to say your name Goodbye. now? Goodbye. So is this a male Karen or not? Over here to the congregation say good morning, that's all. So you bring your arrogant ass out here to say whatever. So like I said, just have a little respect. You're fixed Goodbye. now. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Got he.
I see it in your eyes. You wicked. But it's cool. I just fixed you. Nice. The name's Vantage, man. Nice to meet you. Regardless, despite never having a childhood, in either place inspires me to think of the what ifs. And now being all grown up, I sometimes feel like I am only around everything I never had. So why not imagine, right? As I look at children with both parents and some even adults, I sometimes see how easily someone could have taken the opportunity of having parents for granted. I was forced to grow up pretty fast. However, the sense of humor that I've had would choose to display some of the most oddest places and times. Make me a fun person to be around. And unless I were to tell you my story, then you can easily mistaken me for not having one, nor for being who I am as a person. The youth that never accepted handouts. The youngin' who went with the flow with no questions of where I'm gonna land next. I represent the foster kids that won't out. The soldier who won't pout. The player who just want a ball and the advantage of not being taught.